Hey guys, and today I'm going to be ruining some dreams. I mean, talk about search tokens, yeah? specifically how the reward system works and what you guys can expect from holding search tokens. But before we start, I want to clear something up. I have been making a lot of comments about my parents being Asian and being disappointed in me for not being a lawyer, a doctor, or just being a millionaire. And most of you guys have either been defending me or saying that you guys can relate to my situation. If you guys can relate to my situation, then I'm sorry you guys can relate, I guess. <laughs> but uh, for those of you guys who think otherwise, I just want to make it clear that I have only been saying those things as a joke to get you guys to hit the like button. Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, my parents are very, very good parents. And although, yes, it's true that they are kind of disappointed in me for picking the career path that I am, they're still very good parents. And they took me from the poor country of Vietnam where you had to walk three miles to get to school in the rain without any shoes right? and they brought me here to the great country of america so i am very very thankful and although on some level they're still disappointed in me i have found a way for them to be not as disappointed in me and that is to uh, one uh, continuously grow my channel or tell them that my channel is continuously growing or to do better than my brothers <laughs> Um, which uh, I'm kind of in the middle of between right now. So, uh, yeah, so that is a tip for you. If you guys are doing better than your siblings, then all of your parents' attentions will be concentrated on the lowest performing sibling. <laughs> so, yeah, but if you guys want my parents to give me some space, uh, please hit the like button because that would help me out tremendously. So with that, let's get started with the video. So and the main thing that you guys need to know about Surge Token is that every time you buy, there's a 6% tax. Every time you sell, there's a 6% tax. Every time you transfer, there's a 2% tax. And Surge Token can never go down. It can only go up. Okay, so first and the good part about Surge Token. A surge Token can never go down. That is the most alluring and the most important part of Surge Token. Eh? The main thing that most people worry about is a rug pool or when they buy a coin, it loses in value and then their coins become worthless. That's the most pressing concern that everyone who invests in crypto has. Now, with Surge Token, uh, you don't have to really worry about that. The most that you can ever lose in Surge Token is 12%. That is, if you um, buy it, you get minus 6% tax. Then you sell it, you get negative 6% tax, so you lose 12%. That is the worst that you can lose, which isn't that much compared to other tokens. Uh, so, uh, Surge Token, uh, your tokens can only go up. You can only make money after you um, buy it. And after you make more than 12%, you will automatically guaranteed for the rest of the token that you will make money. Right? That is the best thing about Surge Token. Now, uh, let's get to the not so good part about Surge Token. Eh? In order to make it so that Surge Token can never go down, uh, it had to uh, give up on the amount of profits that it can make. And in order to show you guys what that means, we are going to be using real numbers so that you know what to really expect moving on. So as you guys can see here, this is token surge. This is the BSC scan. And if you go to the, pro, the contract here, uh, and then you go to transactions, all of those transactions go to the very last page of the transactions. And you can see here that right here, this was five days and 15 hours ago, this uh, surge token was created. And then they kept buying with BNB. Let's take this 20 BNB. If we click here, we can see that uh, they use 20 BNB to buy 600 billion tokens, 660 billion surge tokens. Now, if we go to Surge Tokens BSC uh, calculator, if we just paste it in, 
we can see that right now they have a total of 29.68 BNB. Now, the thing that is important for this calculation here is the amount of BNB. It is not the amount of USD that you guys get because surge tokens can only be transferred out and be used to buy BNB. You cannot use surge tokens to buy back cash or to buy back USD coins, USDC coins. Uh, you can only buy BNB coins with it. So that's why the amount of BNB is important and not the amount, the total amount of USD. So if we go to this spreadsheet, we can see that if you input 20 BNB coins, okay, uh, this is the amount of BNB, you get taxed with a 6%. So the amount of BNB, 20 times 94%, which is equal to 18.8 .8 BNB. Now the bought in market cap and the bought in market cap is the amount of BNB that is in the total supply when you guys buy in. Uh, so if we go back to uh, this thing right here, we can see that at the very beginning when this person bought 20 BNB, there was a total of 20, this is 1 plus 0.3, so 21.3 BNB in total supply, which is why right here there's 21.3. But if you guys want to find out the total amount of BNB that right now, uh, you guys can click here, the contract, and right here, the total amount of BNB in circulation is 16,374 BNB coins, which totals out to $5,498,000. And so right now it is worth $5.5 .5 million, the total coin. This is the market cap. So if we go back here, this is the total amount of BNB, and this is the market cap. When I was doing this, uh, I think I am missing something, but what I did was that I only multiplied by 5%. So the initial, you, you need to have less than 20 because of the 6%, but every single one, for me, I may have been wrong, but... Uh, I add everything, give everything a 5% interest, and it works out to be okay. And I'll tell you why, because right now, the current amount of BNB coins is 29, when you go down this much, goes down to 29.16 here. And when you go here, it goes to 29.6. If I do a 0.6% interest, it doesn't work out so well. If I do 0.6, add the total amount of BNB, at 10,000 BNB coins, which right now there is a total of 16,000. At 10,000, they this person would have 31.7 BNB, which is obviously not the case. So that's why I did it at a 5%. There was also a 1 billion surge coin put in at the very beginning, which equals out to around $14, so it's not a big deal. But uh, that might have been why the numbers are kind of skewed. But I don't know why, but a 5% interest works better for me. It's probably my math error, but for me, it works a lot better with a 5% interest. Now, how this works is that the first BNB coin gets a 6% tax, so that's why it'll always be less than your initial investment. But everything after that, uh, you get a 5% tax. Uh, and the only way that you guys can get the 5% interest is if the market cap doubles. So if the total amount of BNB goes from 21.3 BNB coins to 42.6 BNB coins, you get a 5% interest. The market cap doubles okay so every time the market cap doubles uh, you get five percent this is how a surge token works the market cap needs to double for you guys to get six percent or five percent okay so as you guys can see here let's say that they pretty much start with a seven thousand dollar market cap it goes to around five million and this person only got from 20 to 29, around 50%, uh, pretty much a 50% increase on their money, and from 6,000 to 9,000. That is pretty much what you guys can expect. Uh, for the regular coins, if you guys got in at the, like, the third trade or something, and it goes to $5 million, you guys would probably, at the very least, 10x your money, and, or at least 5x, five times your money. Right, five times your money. This you only get 
uh, around 50%, right, which is a tenth of your money. The only way that the price of search coins can go up is through the 6% interest, okay? 6%, 6%, 6%. Okay? It cannot go up with supply and demand because when you are buying search coins, the search coins are minted. When you are selling search coins, search coins are destroyed. So you are not buying and selling from other people. There is no supply and demand here. There is no scarcity. There is an unlimited supply of search coins now, I, I will say that you don't need the market to double to get an extra 5%. The market can decrease by half and you guys still get 5%. Okay, so uh, let's check out this. So uh, right here, uh, I decided to just split it in half. Okay? So every time half of the people sell, okay, so the amount goes from 21 thousand BNB to 10,000 every time half the people sell you will get another five percent okay? and then it half the people sell again and you get another five percent and so on and so on so it can go down and you still make money okay? basically uh, this coin is pretty much rug proof you can never lose more than 12 percent the only way you can lose 12 percent is if you uh, buy and then you sell it right away Okay, so final thoughts. Uh, what do I think of the search tokens? Yeah. Well, uh, I believe that search token is not a get rich quick token. Right? It is a stay rich token. In my opinion, it would take very, very long for the current search token to increase in price and for you guys to make money. Right? That is because the more people that invest in search tokens, the harder it is for the search token to go up in price. Now, uh, I do know that SafeMoonMark plans to change this for transactions and for uses. So that might have been changed. That might be changed in the future. I don't know what the plans are. But I need to say that the fact that you cannot lose more than 12% is amazing. That's something that the other coins have never been done. So uh, at least it gives you a peace of mind that you will never lose more than 12% of your coins. So that is a really, really good thing. All right, guys. Well, that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to help support me out, uh, look in the links below for Patreon, Weeble, and Robinhood. Uh, those are affiliate links that can really help out my small channel. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe. It would help me out immensely. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers. And hopefully I can do it by the end of the year. Yeah. So thank you for your support. And until next time.